How'd you feel about that intro? God dang it. And go. <laughs> Welcome back to the Side by Side Guys Off-Road Podcast. I'm Big Z. And I'm cold. I'm Ruslan. <laughs> and we're joined by a special guest, Ruslan Greasehands. What's going on, bug? Oh, we're out here at UTV Takeover Coos Bay having a good time, doing some awesome stuff. A little early in the morning before the big crowds show up, and uh, it's been a good couple days so far. Uh, what have you been up to? Uh, I just did our test run this morning for the jump. Looks like we got a solid, a little, like 120-foot solid jump. Having fun, gonna go race in the RS1. Just having how fast, straight how, fun. How fast are you hitting it at? I didn't look. I just, I just <laughs> oh went <boy>. full speed. <laughs> is, is it? Did you, did you not look because you can't see the dash, or did you not look because like? You guys are making me feel so short right now. It's, it's because you're so short. Here, look, I'll just stand on these. Stand, stand on, on those. The, on there you go. Now down. you're in the shot. Yay! There we go. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, you're going to be participating in Huckfest, right? Yes, uh, participating in Huckfest, any race that's practically here. Yeah. Um, so normally we would have a couple different people out here doing uh, kind of a show off on the jump, but it uh, looks like you're the only big guy here. No, but no, not the only one. We got uh, Lance here, the guy that uh, long darted it at uh, t- yep, yep, Takeover that, in that modified. Oklahoma. What kind of car is that? That's it's a, a it's a four seater Pro UTV. It's made for desert racing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, this test run it looked like he did really good. So uh, we got him, we got the guy that hucked last year at Coos Bay and uh, a few other participants. Yeah, we got a couple Northwest guys. We got Brandon Raddick out there. Brandon will get after it for sure. Oh, so he's doing, he's doing the wheelies and the jumps. Brandon will do every yep. event out here. So Looking forward yeah. to seeing him in for person sure. uh, throw it down. So he's got a pretty built car too, and uh, he's working on it still. Yeah. He's getting bigger and badder every year. So. Well, he, he was saying yeah, last night it's running pretty good. So uh, you doing the wheelie contest, dude? I'm going to try. I want to see if I can borrow another car or just borrow BJ Lee's car back there. Um, so far I've been driving the addiction car. It seems like it's run, it runs amazing. The, uh, the steering for my scrawny arms are a little too hard for me. I got noodle arms here, so not, yeah. not too big, but, uh. We were out shooting, uh, some shots the other day, uh, out on the dunes, and you were saying the steering was a little bit stiff for, for what you're used to. It's, uh, it's very stiff, because in my RS1, I'm used to, like, using a pinky and doing it. Well, he's got, so, a, he's got a two to one. Two to one, yeah. yeah. So oh. it's a, it's really quick. So when you come up to a jump, you do one thing wrong, and the whole steering switches. So you have to perfect it. But other than that, the addiction car runs flawlessly. Awesome, and you jumped that in uh, Oklahoma, right? Yeah, I did. Uh, something went a little wrong. I turned, uh, I turned right <laughs> before the jump. Uh, my arms couldn't handle it, and the uh, the steering turned a little bit, and yeah, it you. flaked the car sideways. It looked like you had kind of just grabbed the corner of the jump and that's kind of what tossed you sideways uh yeah so the uh the night before that dirt bike riders were kind of jumping the uh the lip so oh. it, they had to make the lip a little bit smaller and uh al's a professional jumper the, uh, the other guy that hit it and he hit it perfect but uh i, I was like a couple inches off but I, I can perfect it next time no, that's a big shout out to bj he built a tank man so yeah, yeah that, it's that good car you didn't barely get flexed <laughs> that, yeah. yeah that little it's capsule tough. is uh it's amazing. Uh, the cage they built. Did they make those cages and everything over at Addiction? Yeah, I think, I think they top to bottom that thing. Man. Yeah. I yeah. think uh, Fab It Up did it, actually. Yeah. Fab It Up down there. Looks like they did an amazing job keeping me in that little time capsule that flew me so far. What, what, did, but we, what did you have under the seat? Was it the Portland phone book, Atlanta phone book to get you over the, <laughs> stair, over the dashboard? Shut <laughs> up. Uh, it's, a, uh, it's a PRP, like, 10-inch booster. Yeah. That uh, brings me up about 10 inches. Yeah, but what kind of a flex is that? So it's like you just hop out of the car. It's like, bro, well, you, you, uh, just, you just got shut down by a dude in a booster seat. <laughs> dude, like my flex is that real men wear booster seats. So it's like, <laughs> that's my biggest flex. The funny thing is you hop in and out of different cars every once in a while. So when, when you're out on the on the rides, you don't know where exactly you are. But we just we keep looking in all the cars and then all of a sudden the head goes down and that's where you're at. Yep, yep. So uh, that, that's that's practically what I'm known for, being short. I am uh, I think I'm 4'11". So these guys are sitting down, right? So this is me, actually. So I'm, like, way down here. So um, I'm, I'm really short. I'm 4'9 or 4'10 or something like that. So for people that don't know you, kind of give an introduction. Like, how old are you? Where are you from? You know. Uh, so I'm 12. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so he's 12 and doing Huckfest, and you're sitting at home. So uh, Watching this up. video. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I'm 12 years old. Uh, my name's Ruslan. I'm known for being Ruslan Grease Hands. Uh, I get mistaken uh, for my last name being Grease Hands, but it's actually actually Yankulevich. But uh, 12 years old and hugging it. 
Yeah. Farther than you. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Farther than me. I don't got a car out here. <laughs> how, how long have you been doing motorsports? Uh, five years. So you, five I, years. I remember seeing the first videos of you in the little uh, the little car going up your driveway and jumping up the driveway and into the dirt and oh okay so th those <laughs> little those little skits i did uh were the ones in the 570s the uh the little cars i used yep. to drive i just sold recently i miss it a lot because it was so fun it was a it was stubborn it broke i twisted three chassis frames in that thing and bent three suspension kits do you mean polaris doesn't design those to be driven by crazy people off of jumps well, okay, so Polaris <laughs> d did design all these bigger cars, but the 570s were actually made for trail. You really opening a monster right now? Well, it, we're, we're, I got to keep sponsored. up. <laughs> we're, we're sponsored by Monster. Oh, okay. okay. So okay. Monster's a sponsor yeah. of the event, too. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right, we're, we're, so un we're uncompensated endorsers. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're listening, Monster, jump in. So uh, the 570s were made for trails. So those cars, the chassis frames were designed to be super small so they could fit through those little trails. And, uh, yeah, that car wasn't really designed for jumping at all, but those skits were really fun. Uh, we went through three chassis frames in that thing, and uh, <laughs> it was a fun little car. Nice. And that, now we... Um you got the uh, you got the RS1. You got the Pro Four seater. Um, what else are you ripping? We got the Pro Four, and then we have our four seater with the supercharger. That thing's sitting in a museum. It's worn out. We got our RS1. Uh, that thing's a little ripper. I don't know how that thing's still running. Uh, we have our so that's Pro RS1 four seater, and then that's it because all the other cars I destroyed. We, we need to get my man like a traveling mechanic because uh, he's on the road so much he doesn't <laughs> even have a chance to wrench on stuff. So somebody needs to be helping him out, fixing him up while he's on the road, working in the back of the enclosed trailer. Wouldn't Dude, that be that'd sick? that'd be great. Dude, I'm, I'm so tired from prepping. It sucks. <laughs> a parts trailer is pretty awesome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it, it is pretty cool. There's no, there's no, like, Zach and I go out in the mountains. We do these mountain excursions and stuff, and uh, there's no better feeling than having your car dialed to where you can just leave, like, at any time. Like, you're maybe three hours away Always from ready. being ready to right. go. That's the best. Uh, yeah, when you're driving a... It's uh, never happened, but that's the best. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> <laughs> but when you're driving a broken car, it's definitely not a good feeling. You know, you want to go do something that you can't. So when you have your car fully dialed, fully prepped, you know what's up. And, uh... So every time we go out, we have to uh, take the RS1 down to the bone, make sure it's fine, you know, replace all the bolts, uh, make sure nothing's broken, because sometimes that does happen. Uh, so we're, uh, old Glory's tuning the car now, making it a little bit faster. Maybe we can uh, hit that at the Wheelie Fest. Saw you out ripping that one. The, the tire was curling underneath themselves, so it was pretty awesome. Yeah. Uh, Wh which one? The old Glory car. Oh, cool. Yeah. So uh, I drove that one. It's a really fast car. And, oh, yeah, uh, that thing rips. It's fast, and uh, the uh, tire, it was flat, and I was trying to wheel it with a flat, <laughs> and uh, I had to go, like, full speed. It was, whoa, boom, and a bunch of sand came everywhere. I did wheel it, though. It was fun. So what else? You're doing the Huckfest. You said you're doing some racing, doing the short course? So um, none of my cars are actually designed for this stuff. So, like, the RS1 has a uh, factory UTV skid plate, which is super duper heavy because it was made for desert and then it's got like 40 pound wheels and tires so like super heavy stuff and uh that car's not really designed for it but we do it anyway and then the four seater is not made for racing because it's so long it just can't fit in those corners and then the other cars yeah it's, uh, the other cars are back at home but um yeah the rs1 rips out here it's a uh, it's it's lighter than most of the cars out here, but uh, it's just so heavy that it bottoms out wherever it goes just because of how the uh, the car is designed. But uh, that car rips is for as long as I can remember. Well, uh, takeover Coos Bay uh, goes all weekend long, and uh, hopefully the rain holds out on us. Uh, hopefully. I think we got 24 hours, and then it's going to be miserable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Monsoon comes in. Dude, like a, it's like tomorrow's 100% rain all day. Yeah, yeah, we want it to be dry for you, so you can uh, you can send it without any send concern. It. Yeah, we're gonna go score a propane stove as soon as this podcast. <laughs> we're gonna light yeah. it yeah. under your ass. And then I'm gonna get you another monster. You know that pink monster you want? Well, yeah, brother. Shout out the sponsors. Let's hear it. Who's the roll call? Oh my God! Um, <sighs> Assault, Renegade, Fuel Rims, GBC Tires, Factory UTV, Shreddy Life, IMG Motorsports. Shreddy, uh, Shreddy Life, right? Shred, hey. Shreddy Life, right here. Oh, we got Full Throttle Battery. Um, oh, yeah. Dude, I, I have 30 guys. sponsors. I can't even remember them all. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Oh, what's their website? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Is that dot com? 
My car's over here. So okay, Super ATV, uh, Old Glory, and Addiction have been helping me out, so I consider them a, a sponsor for this event. Shout out to BJ Leach. Uh, just do uh, a couple weeks ago is his birthday. Make sure you go ha- uh, wish him a happy birthday. But, yeah, I uh, found out him and I are the same age and born like I don't know eight days apart. It's no so like in the old guy decade. What's that? In the old guy decade. How old are you? Like thirty two. <laughs> well, my dad's thirty three. <laughs> Old guy, old uh, guy. It's I, okay. It's I okay. feel. You feel back pain. Thirty. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a thing. You, you guys got me in a corner right now. So. <laughs> Dude, I'm just rubber. I don't feel anything. Yeah, you were. You will. <laughs> <laughs> you will. <laughs> oh no. So uh, yeah, hopefully the weather holds out. We got Huck Fast. We got Wheelie Fast. We got uh, Hill Fast, which is a cool drifting comp. Buddy, are you gonna do Hill Fast? I think so. That's that's the one that's that separates the men from the boys. That's the driver. That's the driver race right there. A short course is too, but Hill Fest is a different skill set, man. For sure. Yeah. So uh, looking forward to that. We're gonna get out. We've done some filming. We're gonna do a whole bunch more filming. Uh, Revma's out here. Bam and Brian are out uh, filming too. So uh, good time there. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a great time. Yeah, Brian's actually. Uh, anni- yeah, he's waving at us while he's <laughs> annihilating <laughs> he's, a burrito. He's, right, he's a burrito right down there. Monster. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, yeah, look forward to seeing you out there. Good luck tomorrow, and uh, hopefully yeah. everything hey, goes well. Stay safe, dude. I will. Yeah, yeah. Slash won't. <laughs> <laughs> Peace. Appreciate you being on, buddy. Woo!